Well, hello everyone, happy throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Escape from Privet Drive, from 2002, of course. So on the front of the manual, see, see that neat border that we've seen on all, most of the other sets, and Lego logo, old school Harry Potter logo, and picture of the whole set that there is, and set number 4728 on the back. See, add for all the sets and how they come together, of course. Then add for the PC CD ROM creator game and a little shot of it. And also a few little instructions for the alternate builds. Of course. That would be fun and nice, of course. Also, this, which does look like a little part of the borough, which is a little thing to say. And then last building steps, of course. And first of all, for the mini, first off, the mini things. Left to right, you got Harry Potter himself and Ron Weasley, which, and then also Vernon Dursley, of which Vernon Dursley, of which is exclusive to this set, and also never appeared in any other sets. Well, until the uh, 2020 Privet Drive set, and although the hair and mustache little inaccurate when on the films, in the films it's just more blondish, you can say. And also, whereas Ron Weasley's torso piece also seen in the 2001 uh, uh, Hogwarts Express set, but Harry's torso print, all of which truly exclusive to this one, and also looking kind of similar to as it does in the film, of course. And if you look from the backs of each one, no back torso print, and nor double side faces since the roller figures, of course. And that is it for them. And first of all, for the builds, is the Enchanted Car. That's which kind of primitive of builds, well, at least front area of which, one of the early uses of snot, of course. And also with silver grail pieces, or grill pieces, silver vent filling, which the later two versions did not have at all. So, kind of a sign of the times, of course. And if you look on the sides, and see plenty of all right techniques for it, and also the usual door pieces that do slide in and out. And if you look from the back. And you see this little piece that can flip right upwards, and you can put a, the old school suitcase into it. And what you're wondering what the string is out for, which is for one of the main feature of it, which you'll see in a bit. And if I take off the roof piece, you can have enough space to, of course, fit two mini figs into it, both Harry and Ron into a horse. like so and also also good use of those uh, lumpy brick pieces to act as back of a seat of course and it also a little space to fit your wants into obviously and as for this roof of which not sure why there's a couple of tiles on top but whatever and you can fit on like so Next to which is uh, for Privet Drive itself, or if more specific, the, uh, the Dursley's house, of course. You can see quite nice build to, or built quite all right to it, like some good printed pieces, like these ones that have the uh, rocky brick 
look to them and also a small one by four, one by one plate that says four since it's four privet drive and also those leaf pieces of course but also you can swivel it out like some of the other Hogwarts uh, expand sets from this time of course and also as you can see good use of all these uh, jagged slope pieces in gray kind of suiting to its film appear movie appearance but unlike the 2020 version that also did that but they were in black of course you have to look for them inside then you can oh let's see that there's a little kitchen area and the staircase and of course underneath is the little bed area that harry slept in in sorcerer's stone of course and also a couple of suitcase pieces is there but at least in the uh, 2020 version, there was, of course, the opening door feature that helped fix that. But at least it's all right as is for now. And also above of which is the classic owl piece in white representing Hedwig, of course. And if you look in this area right in this section here, which not sure what to make of it, but at least have a little pedestal piece with as there's the little spider in front of it and also a couple of studs and also the tile that has a rolled up sack to it which came in the Star Wars uh, Gungan Patrol set as well and if you look from this upper area which is to represent probably Harry's room in Chamber Secrets and do get a couple of little book pieces like one that is just plain bright blue and also one that has some nice printing to it and as you can see there and continuing on with the set is you get a little table stand with a glass and letter and also if you notice that yes the roof kind of flimsy but one of the features with this is that if you turn this little this little but quite good chimney build and which has the letters in it and it just drops them right down of course and of course representing to the start or first half of Sorcerer's Stone when a whole bunch of letters flock right into it and Vernon burdens them up of course. And of course a little space to, enough space to fit a mini pig into of course. And if I turn from the front view And if you remember the string in the back of it from earlier, and of course, although the window not barred up, of course, but anyway, just slip it underneath and just pull it right loose, and then let Harry escape from it. And of course, hello. Oh, what's kind of funny is have Vernon drop right out, of course. Oh, which perfect reenactment of the scene, of course. But whereas 2020 version also well did. So for my overall verdict, anyways, so actually final verdict on this set is this I think a pretty good set, or quite good set for its time, and also quite good representation of this house of course, which appeared in most of the films obviously, like the letter dropping feature, alright, but at least the 2020 version really improved upon it, and of course 
only time of ever having Vernon Dursley, of course. But at least the 2020 version also improved on the minifig selection of also including his wife and son, uh, Petunia, and of course, Dudley Dursley. Yes, so. Uh, if I were to guess why that is, probably didn't pay much attention or to the film or whatever. But I, at least I can forgive this set as for how it was. And of course, the Enchanted Car, also quite good rendition of it. Well, unlike with the 2018 and 20 versions that there were. But also kind of fair for what it is. And so if y'all still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.